Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, I'm in Paris. I've basically been in Paris for the past five weeks and I'm here for another two weeks for Fashion Week because today's Friday night. Paris Fashion Week starts on Monday. So everything's like happening right now. Paris Fashion Week is the last Fashion Week of Fashion Month. So it goes New York, London, Milan and Paris. So now all the models, everyone is pretty much coming to Paris for Monday, which is when Paris Fashion Week starts. But basically tomorrow I have a really big day, a very busy day of castings. I have a test shoot do as well but I think I have like eight castings to go to so I'm gonna take you guys along to all of that I'm in my hotel room at the moment but now I'm just on my own which is honestly like really nice I'll show you the view it's pretty all right I mean like that's Paris out there if you can see that's me where I'm staying is actually a really nice area because I'm like close to the Eiffel Tower so that's nice to see but if I got a room just on the other side of the corridor I would have a view of the Eiffel Tower which I really wanted but it's fine I need to just give you guys a bit of an update, I guess, because I haven't talked to you in like two months. That's when I uploaded my last video. A lot has changed since I talked to you last and vlogged. My whole life is basically completely different in a good way. Like for one, I'm in Paris right now. I'm not living in Paris. I haven't like moved to Paris officially, anything like that, but I'm in Paris and I've been in Paris for the past five weeks. I'm just working here because now I've graduated high school, so I'm modeling full time this year. That's basically going to be like my job, which is like really fun. Um, So it is nice to be here. Work has been quiet though, and have I been having a fun trip? No. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't had a good trip. I've just been dealt so many challenges, so it has been a very difficult trip, but I'm nonetheless grateful for it because for one, like I'm in Paris modeling full time and I'm about to start fashion week. Like it can't get much better than that. But yeah, no, it has definitely been hard. And also just like the amount of self growth that has happened since I've been here is like insane because, but I don't know, just like the independence and how everything I've had to learn to do like on my own um, has really like done me wonders to be honest. So I'm so grateful for this trip, but it hasn't been the easiest. This video is basically 24 hours as a model during fashion week. So I've done two Australian fashion weeks, but I've never done Paris fashion week before. And Paris fashion week is like the biggest and the top a fashion week to do in the whole industry. All the top models come for this fashion week because you have like Louis Vuitton, you got Miu Miu, you got Dior, like all the top of the top brands are here in Paris, which is why all the models are coming to Paris and why it is a very hectic week. But for now, it's like eight o'clock. I just had some dinner. I had some steak and mashed potato because I have to make sure my body is fueled and that I'm able to take on the day because it's going to be a very busy day. Now I just need to chill, get ready for bed, have a nice shower, wash my hair. Yeah, every day here, I've just had to kind of like take it as it goes because I've had days that have been like amazing and like really really fun and then the next day has been like really hot it's literally just a day by day thing this little guy has come with me this whole trip i've got my outfit ready for tomorrow that i've just hung up so i've got my jacket this jacket i actually thrifted here in paris which is really cool just the day before i had a really important casting so i've been wearing this jacket so much and it's literally such good quality so i'm wearing that tomorrow and then i'm also wearing these blue jeans which i've gotten from zara which are like really nice and they kind of just flare out at the bottom a bit so it's not like tight fitted it's just loose and then this little crop top from Zara which is just basically like a little tank top kind of thing and then this oversized men's white shirt to put on top of all of that it's from Zara as well basically my whole wardrobe at the moment is Zara I just love Zara for like casting clothes and things like that and then I'm gonna wear these boots which I also got from Zara I just like to have it hung up and stuff so that I can like sleep in a bit more and then when I am awake I can just like put it on and I already know what I'm wearing like I don't have to think about it or anything so yeah that's my fit for tomorrow Paris Fashion Week is coming up in two days, so we're gonna take on the day. I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm just gonna pack this little protein bar that I love to have. It's like peanut butter choc chip. I'm gonna pack this one just for in case I get really hungry during castings and then this one as well. I feel like these are like really easy to take and I'll just put them in my bag.
test shoot, I just have one more class thing to go for the day. So it's actually a pretty chill day compared to most days and how busy it's going to get. It's going to get a lot busier. So I'm just going to have some food because I'm starving and head to the test shoot. But so far, so good. Those are my Nutella crepes and that's my cappuccino. Like, come on, you do not get better crepes than you do here in Paris. They're so good. And so are the cappuccinos. And that's what I'm going to have for lunch. Hey guys, so it's been like a couple of hours now. Basically, my test shoot got cancelled because I have to go to castings and stuff. So I just like wouldn't have had the time. It wasn't the day for it. But I just came back for a bit to just like chill and kind of like... That's my alarm going off. That's it. Yeah, basically, I've just been like chilling here for a little bit. I'm actually so tired from like walking around, everything like that. So I have to go to two more castings for the day. I'm going to Uber to my next casting just because I have no energy in me right now to like walk back to the train station. Even though it's not that far, it's like a seven minute walk, but I've just been walking like all day. I'm wearing a jumper. I'm going to wear my jacket on top because today's a lot colder than I thought. And the thing is as well is in Paris, when it's this cold, you can't even just walk around and like warm up. Like it's just so cold. You just don't warm up. You just freeze. So I've been like freezing all day and... And I'm still recovering from being really sick so I thought may as well put on a jumper and make sure I prevent getting sick as much as possible hopefully I book a show it's obviously so much harder to book a show here in Paris because all the models are here there were so many models at the casting today like sometimes you're waiting for like an hour just to get in and then when you go in and you see the casting director you do your walk there and back and it takes like 30 seconds so sometimes you're literally waiting like an hour just to be there for like 30 seconds of someone's life and like that's the impression they get of you so it's pretty intense but anyway it's like 3 40 now i have to be at my casting at four so we're gonna go ahead to that now and then go ahead to my other casting and then call it a day also i just want to say really quickly with running around for the castings and stuff it does make it really hard to have like proper meals and like healthy things to eat but you also want to make sure that you are staying healthy because you literally need the energy and the fuel to like run around and just kind of like i don't know get from place to place because it takes a lot of energy out of you i'm still working on that i've just like i have all my healthy food at home which i have for like my meals like for example i'll have eggs for breakfast i'll have steak for dinner things like that but then in between castings when I'm on the train especially I just take little protein bars with me because you just don't have the time to eat a proper full meal so I have little protein bars if I have time I'll stop at like a cafe something like that but for the moment I'm not taking meals with me everywhere just because I don't want to take up that room in my bag and I also just don't have the time for that really Then all my castings for the day. I just went and bought some foods to have for dinner and things like that. So I'm cooking at the moment and I'm making some steak and mashed potato and vegetables just to have. Today's been a really, really long day and so much has happened. But the last few castings went pretty well. It's always like hard to say how they're really going to go. And like you can never tell if you booked the job or not. You just can't. I mean, they probably don't even make the decisions on the spot like that. It's definitely a lot more intense than Australian Fashion Week. But I love it. Today was a good day. I'm exhausted though. The first thing I did when I got back is I put on my hoodie and just like comfortable shorts and i've just been chilling like this this is another reason why i just love staying by myself here because after a long day like today which was a genuinely like such a busy day i was just on the run all day it's just nice to like come home to your own space and cook your own meals do your own thing have your own music playing but because of time difference and things like that i have to either call and message my friends late at night here or early in the morning tomorrow so i usually just like stay up for a couple of hours talking to them it's currently 8 30 here which means it's 6 30 there so they should be waking up soon but i don't know i've had like no social battery while being here in terms of like socializing with everyone i think everyone especially models we're all in the same boat when it comes to castings and the whole like traveling overseas and staying by yourself kind of thing we all understand each other in that sense so it's so easy and so nice being able to relate to people like that and like all the models here are always so lovely i have never had a bad experience i'm not gonna lie so it's been pretty good but if i don't vlog more for tonight this will be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed me running around to my castings and things like that obviously i can't actually film in the casting just because there's all these rules with like what you can photograph and you're also just like well i'm at least focusing on getting myself the job and booking myself the show so vlogging isn't really my priority in there and i can't do it anyway because they won't let me video but i'll talk to you guys in the next video and i hope you enjoyed it bye